Welcome to NASCAR's newest Sprint Cup track. For today's running of the Quaker State 400, I'm Mike Joy with hometown hero Darrell Walter. Oh, yeah, my old Kentucky home, Mike. The track's got a few uh, bumps in it here and there. The drivers don't complain about them a lot. It says he gives the track character. I like a track with character. And we've got a cast of characters in this field today. Yes, we do. And, of course, we've only been here a couple of times, so hard to predict the winner. You're right, Darrell. Most teams' notebooks are pretty thin on this place. But Kentucky shares a lot of characteristics with some of the tracks we've been racing at for a long, long time. The question is, who has the right combination of horsepower, handling, track position, and pit stops to win today? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the next race in our NASCAR 15 season here at the Kentucky Speedway for the 18th race of the season. This will be the midway point of the overall season. That's this one of eight races left in the regular season before the chase. We're gonna start back here in the 20th position in our number 88 Mountain Dew Chevrolet. As you're now green here at Cleveland. We're underway, we're already going to the outside. Ricky Stenhouse, significant contact made right there, trying to gain spots. We sent him right in the back of him. as a big stack up there on the start of the race. Now we go into turn one and two, gonna get to the back of Joy Logano. Starts to contact the 22 Logano right there. We go way up the track. We hold on to it, keep it off the wall. Big run here, four wide down the back stretches. We look to make every pass possible here to try to gain positions. You got the Roush cars banging into each other right there. Now, once again, side by side with Joy Logano through the corner. E to the wall. We're both in the wall. Contact made myself and Logano to the wall. Now we get there's the A. There's the 33 title, and he's around and he's wrecking. But we stay green. No caution. If we go just like that from 22nd to 37th, losing 15 spots. Now we're going to get back at it here in turn 1 and 2. We're going to give Legal the bumper and once again have to check up a little bit there as we just slid us up the race here. But we get by the 22 who we are not happy with right now because we are bumping and banging into each other a little bit too much for either of our liking. Now in the back of 13 to Casey Mears. Contact made there. Now we're going to go 3 wide in the middle. Trying to get to the back of Michael Waltrip. Slide up the racetrack. Fall back to 38th. Now 39th. Back to 38th. We bounced off the wall. Door check. Joy Legal to get to the bottom line here. And a big run here. The inside lane on that lap number 3. So we try to make passes here. Michael went up in the wall. We just put him up in the wall back there. But we moved up to 30 seconds just like that. A nice pass right there. Now we're working on game by Just Justin Allgaier and Chase Elliott in front of us. As your current race leader at the moment of the front of the field, Clint Boyer, AJ Allmendinger has a fast slap. Now we're working on the outside of the 25 who gets into us right there. Sends up the racetrack. We have to check up for 31st. That was a little bit of my fault though. I did come down on him. Now we're going to cross him up on next to the corner and go right on by Chase Elliott. Move ourselves into 31st place. Now we're going to go to the inside of Justin Allgaier to get into 30th. Uh, no, sorry, yeah, 30th as we move into turn 1 and 2 here. So now we're back in the top 30 as we try to gain on the guys in front of us, like Kyle Larson there in 29th. We try to recover all that track position we had lost in the first couple of laps. So now we're into a rhythm, and we're starting to get the grip, and we're, we're rolling here now as we're gaining time back on everybody in front of us. We're even gaining time on the race leader just a little bit, not very much, but tiny little bits here and there. And it's our personal best lap of the race, 30.17 right there, chasing down the 42 of Larson. Here into turn one and two. We're gonna go the inside of them. We're gonna be side by side for position and we're gonna go right on by Kyle Larson. Now we're in a 29th place. Next car up is the 32 of Bobby Lavani running in 28th place, who we are going to chase down to try to put ourselves in position for a strong finish here in Kentucky. But still, we're still struggling barely inside the top 30 right now. But we are moving now. A oh, quick pause, don't mind that. Now we're back racing as we look to get by the 32 of Bobby Labonte now down the front straightaway. We go the inside lane. Now we're moving to 28th place. The next car would be Colwitz number 35 machine for Front Row Motorsports running in 27th. We are nearly going to get up in the wall. We do get up in the wall. Some contact there. But we continue on. Nothing terribly damaged. As now we're working on the inside of Wit number 35. He's still a bit ahead of us. we a nice run here through the exit of four here. And we're going to get right up to his bumper. Use that draft. Go underneath Cole Witt. And now we find ourselves in 27th place here at the start finish line. As we continue to slowly but surely carve our way forwards through this field. Ty Dillon or Austin Dillon. One of the Dillon brothers. Pretty sure it's Austin Dillon. It's the next car up to pass in 26th place. As we're getting close to the uh, pit stops here, end of the first uh, cycle of run here, the first green flag run of this race, it looks like. Big checkup ahead of us there, and that gives, allows us to gain a bunch of time here. As we now move on to lap 8, 20 to go, we continue to chase down 
Austin Dillon and Regan Smith and those guys now there's we really dive it in here through one and two a nice big gain on the bottom line we're gonna go all the way up to the top here the back of Regan Smith some contact made in a row and goes to seven we bounce off the wall and he overcorrects and the caution is gonna come out here at Kentucky for the first time tonight as we get in the back of Regan Smith just barely and send him around and he overcorrects and spins himself there on the inside lane bringing out our first caution of the night here in Kentucky it is going to lead to an exciting restart here. So we're going to come down pit road with the, what is happening under yellow right now. We were all wrecking back there. Oh my goodness. Under yellow. But we made it through. We came down, made our pit stop. So now we're going to restart in 27th here alongside Austin Dillon. You got Truex, Denny Hamlin, one of our season rivals right there up ahead of us. As now we move in the back of Casey Kane. Move him up that way into the wall. Big hit for him there. But now we're in the top 25. And it's starting to get to work here and gaining these positions that we need desperately right now to have a shot at this victory. As now we go on the inside, Denny Hamlin. You know, enough loss, no low love loss there. As we get in the back of Denny, gonna give him a bump, a big check up there on the bottom, and now we're gonna try to get to the inside. We're gonna make more contact with Denny, push him up the racetrack right there, in between him and Brad Keselowski, and we really squeeze him up there, trying to put him in the wall. Now there's the 14, Tony Stewart out of us, kind of. He's gonna get up into the wall. He goes pretty hard. We go underneath Kevin Harvick. We make that pass. Now he's up over the wall. And now we're trying to work by Eric Almarola, Jimmy Johnson as well in the 48s. We're right now side by side with Kislowski. We get low enough to give Jimmy the bumper to the 47. Allmendinger oh, is going to press on the wall again. AJ Allmendinger for the like 16th time this scene has gotten into us. And has nearly caused a huge wreck. But we somehow save it and recover in 38th place. As once again, AJ Allmendinger is going to absolutely wreck us. Put us in the wall while battling for position inside the top 20. I mean, I don't know what is going on with this guy right now. I mean, we are going to get him back this race. I tell you, we, I'm going after him. That's my next mission is get back to Almendinger and send him into the fence. So now we're 34th. As we made a couple more passes there, going by Ty Dillon and David Reagan. As now we have to go off to the pack in front of us. Now we're going to get a big check up there because of the pit stop being made by Michael Walter will bring us into 33rd. As the leaders, some of those guys at the front of us, are coming down pit road because, of course, some of them stayed out. Whereas we, of course, pitted, came down, four fresh tires, full tank of fuel. As now we look at Regan Smith in front of us. Can try not to spin him out of turn two this time. As we gain some time, and there's the 10, Danica Patrick up in front of us. Now we're going to make a run here into 3 and 4. We're going to go underneath Danica and Yaley and make that great move right there. We're going to try to make it stick, but we're going to lose, get a little bit loose right there. And that's going to cost us, and so we're still going to be in 33rd here, coming down the front straightaway to take 14 to go. Fish at the halfway point through this race here at Kentucky. We our fastest lap of the day. Now we're going inside David Gillen. Move him up the racetrack. There's 34 Reagan, the 7 Regan Smith. Now we find ourselves battling for 28th down the back stretch, making some moves now that we're back up into this lead pack. Having a shot at it, and there's Michael Annette as well up ahead. Larson, Cole we're going to slide up the racetrack, go way up with the top line, and hang on to our position, nearly bounce off the wall, but get back to work on the bottom line. You see Jeff Gordon there in the middle. We're going to take him four wide here on the bottom of Wick Gordon Larson. We make the pass, and now we're chasing down the three of Dylan and the 27 runner. We get back Austin Dillon, and there he goes around. He goes Austin Dillon, and that is a caution. So we're under caution here. Oh, there's a 47. We're going to go for him. But the caution cuts us off before we can destroy AJ Allmendinger. See right here. We just get the bomb of Austin Dillon. Austin Dillon just loses control. Spins up into the wall. Collects Regan Smith and Reagan. So he goes on. And Yaley piles into Dillon. They're crashing back here. So pretty legitimate yellow there. He's lost control. So now, once again, chaos trying to come down pit road. We pit once again. Now restart in 27th. But a big stack up here on this restart with it. 11 to go in the race. We now have put ourselves in a position where we can go up there. I see the 47 AJ Almany up there though. So we're going to fit in between the other. We're going to go right to the 47. We're going to dump him. We're going to get our revenge on AJ Almany. Boom. Into the wall he goes. We get hit a little bit, but we are fine. As we finally, finally get our revenge on AJ Almendinger. As right there in the corner, we clip him and dump him. We just up dump him in the outside wall on a hard hit for Stenhouse. But AJ got what he deserved right there. So we dumped him. We get our revenge. And now. Call it even, call it a day. We're good. And now we restart 15th. Of course, we stay out as we didn't even get a lap in there. Now we're racing Joy Logano, Jimmy Johnson, Greg Biffles. We find ourselves in the top 15, nearly the top 10 now, heading to turn 1 and 2. We are up to 11th here underneath Ryan Newman. Now we're inside the top 10 in the back of the 43. Big stack up sideways, Truex in the wall. We're trying to hang on for dear life back here. And we are getting put down the sucker hole here in the middle. We are losing spots like crazy back down to 17th. But now we reel it back in 3 and 4. 
Moved by the 42 of Kyle Larson. Now the inside of the 22 of Joy Logano. For Zerby, put him off there into the wall. Goes Logano. He hangs onto it. We are 15th. And then we're going to get a big run here following the draft of Jim I in the 48 right in front of us as we try to work our way up into 13th place now. And we're going to give Jim I the bumper into the corner up into the biff. And the 16. We're going to go by both of them on the outside. We get a little, little bit high, but we make it happen in our clear for 12th. But Newman gets around us. And now we're making contact with Danica trying to hang on for the position. But we make that happen. Now we're going to give the 26 a Burn there, little bump up into the track. He's gonna slide. He's gonna hang on. Now we're racing Newman for 10th, and we get ourselves into the top 10 as we move by the 31 of Ryan Newman. Now, seven laps to go in Kentucky. On the inside of the 43 of Eric Almarola, we move into the ninth place now. And now it's chasing down Jamie McMurray and Kyle Busch. Next two cars in front of us as these intensive battles continue. We go up high on the racetrack there. We hang on to it. Go low now, trying to work by the 18 and the one. We set it three wide. There's Kenseth trying to pick Kurt Busch as well. We get the back of Boyer. He's sliding whoa up the track. He hangs onto it. Now we find ourselves in fourth place just behind Edwards, Kyle Busch, and Vickers as your leaders are making pit stops. Here we go. Six to go now. We are in the third place. We get around the 19 of Edwards. We send it to turn one and two here inside of the 18 of Kyle Busch and Brian Vickers. And we are going to make a little bit of contact. We're going to get to the lead here in Kentucky for the first time tonight. We have taken the race lead with just six laps to go. What a move. The question is, do we have enough fuel to make it to the end now? And now, oh, we screw up the entry there in the 3 and 4. Go a little bit higher than like, we're actually going to get into the wall. We're going to keep it off the wall. But here comes Edwards, who straight up clears us with a power move. Now, 5 to go. Edwards will lead that lap. And now we fall in behind the 19th of Carl Edwards. And in the corner, we're going to give him a bump here. We're going to get into him. And once again, into him here in the corner, there goes the 19th. Hard in the outside wall, down the track. And the caution is going to come out here at Kentucky. As we get in the back of 19 Edwards for the lead, he just loses control hard in the outside wall. But I don't see why they call a caution, man. I don't know about that one. I don't know. He pretty much saved it. I don't think that's a yellow in my opinion. And now we have a green white checkered. No, in regulation. We're going to go back with three to go in regulation. We start alongside the one of Jamie McMurray for the lead. Cole Witt, Newman, and Jimmy Johnson, the rest of the top five. Into turn one and two here. We hold the lead. A great corner there. Clearing McMurray, but now we're sliding way up the racetrack. Have to really lift here. Big checker. We're going to get into the wall. And he said to slide down the racetrack. And here comes the pack. Going to devour us. There goes McMurray, Johnson, Newman, everybody. Flying by. So now we slide up the track. And three and fours. McMurray comes down pit road. And now we're battling Cole Witt for saying now we're three wide for the lead with Cole and Jim I and the battle is on coming to two to go we go to the outside of Jimmy Johnson now we try to clear him going into turn one he's gonna get into us and we're gonna go around off of Johnson hard back into the pack and a big hits behind us a huge wreck has erupted gonna bring out a caution to lead to our first green white checkered finish oh my goodness as myself and Jimmy Johnson two Hendrick teammates battling for the lead get into it and I go around up there and nobody go bang hard from Cole and upside down goes Justin Allgaier flying through the air upside down is another car in turn two An absolutely hellacious crash that's gonna knock Ryan Newman out of the race and now as we come down to this final green white checkered after this huge wreck here our first attempt at a green white checkered finish we're gonna stay on the racetrack because at this point you got it to go for the wins we restart in third only alongside Kyle Busch and behind Jimmy Johnson who just wrecked us and Greg Biffle with two to go here in Kentucky who is going to come out on top into turn one and two? We don't get that good of a restart, but we get in the middle. We get a bit of Kyle Bush. We get into us. We make an incredible save. Slide up the racetrack and clear Paul Menard barely to hang on to third. A crucial move we need to make right there. Now in the three and four, we're going to send it in, trying to gain time on the 16 of Greg Biffle and the 40 of Jimmy Johnson here, as it might be over, but you never know. Coming to take the white flag this time. Biffle checking up. White flag. Final lap is like credit one bank for Jimmy Johnson here in Kentucky, but we have a big run on the back of Biffle for second. We used that run to one and two here. We get around the 16 here. Straight up clear him as we move into second place. And now it's just a 40 to Jimmy Johnson. We got together on the last restart and now it's going to come down to the final corner to decide the win of the last lap we are going to send it in deep and we're going to get into the back of Johnson into him and there goes Johnson into the wall a pump and dump and run for the win as we block Biffle and we're going to hang on to a win at Kentucky with the last lap dump and run of Jimmy Johnson we get the win here in Kentucky unbelievable finish wow we get into the back of the 48, spin him into the outside wall. He crashes hard. 
And we drive away to get the winners. Let the burnouts begin as we're going to burn down celebration here after a comeback win. After really getting wrecked on the last restart, we stay out. Didn't have terrible damage. Restarted fourth. Got around Kyle Busch after he tr almost wrecked us. And then we battled with Greg. With my swift move by Greg Biffle. And then Jimmy Johnson, last corner. We send it in, get in the back of him. He overcorrects, crashes the outside wall. And then we make the late block on Biffle and cruise to victory lane. For the ninth time this season, we are a winner. This time here in Kentucky at the halfway point. We've won half the races this season so far. This is crazy. As we continue to burn it down, celebrating the amazingness of this awesome win. And now we celebrate in victory lane with the crew. Now I view the final race results, of course, myself, your winner, leading just four laps and putting down the winning time. Then Greg Biffle is your runner-up, Tony Stewart third, Paul Menard fourth, Jeff Gordon fifth, AJ Allmendinger sixth with the fastest lap, Trevor Bain seventh, Kyle Busch eighth, Martin Truex ninth, and Joy Logano rounds out your top ten. You got Harvick there in eleventh, Clint Boyer in thirteenth, Stenhouse in fifteenth, Kurt Busch eighteenth, Denny Hamlin finishes twentieth, Larson twenty-first, Kenseth twenty-second, you got Austin Dillon down twenty-fifth. Vickers 26, Kane 20th, Kozlowski 29th, and you got Michael McDowell in 32nd. Jimmy Johnson finishes 34th after we dump him on the last lap for the win. Then Edwards, McMurray, Blaney down there, and Ryan Newman DNS, of course. So there you have it, folks. Now we're going to see the standings. As we, of course, are going to maintain our points lead here. Comfortably, we're gonna extend it with our ninth win of the season and our 14th top 10 over Tony Stewart. He's a winner of the season down there. You got Kyle Busch, Clint Boyer, winners. Uh, so and then you got Brian Vickers, a winner. Ricky Stenhouse, of course, has his win. And AJ Allmendinger has won a race. And then you have Ryan Blaney with two wins and Michael McDowell with one win, which I believe puts us at nine winners, nine different winners through 18 races. To Jeb Burton last in the points. So we remain your points leader heading to the next episode of New Hampshire. So until the next episode when we have racing from New Hampshire Motor Speedway, I hope you all have a good one.